Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and we are back inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, now, tonight, I'm going to show you something that I've been doing. You may have noticed that the wood has slowly been disappearing um, from this little area, and I'm going to show you how to basically clean up. Well, what you want is you want one of these tiny tiles, like the tiniest of tiny. And we'll go five each. One, two, three, four, five. And just do like this. All the way across. And one row. Don't don't try and put uh, another row back behind it or anything like that because it will um, fill in and mess up. But just a nice row of all tiles, just like that. Then grab yourself either an alpha box, an axe box, something with a little bit of uh, width to it. Uh, and take and start just sweeping all of those little pieces up that don't quite make up one full piece or one unit. As you start sweeping them in, they're going to all start to disappear. Uh, this is this only works if you have the power, by the way, and it's also oddly satisfying, like just to see all the blueprints starting to get filled in. This one, oh, this will be fun. Hold on. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Resistance. Peace de resistance. There they go. As you start to sweep them in, they'll all start to fill in, and then you can clean up the blueprints themselves. These are all the little pieces that have been hanging out here on my base. Their physics alone is causing my base to have a little bit of lag, so. <laughs> not, not that this base didn't have a bunch of lag in the first place, but. And I have a, a surplus of all kinds of wood over there. So, I mean, these little pieces, they were for projects. They were left over from, from something I may have chopped way long ago. But the point is, I found a way to get rid of them quickly and efficiently without having to move each and every little block. Oh, 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 okay, that one's having a little bit of difficulty. Uh, okay, it's because it's not quite big enough. There we go. And that one right there can combine with one of those. That's good. Anyhow, <clears throat> you will have to separate out your uh, your presence from the wood chippings themselves. But once you look around, you can start to push all the wood to one side and all the other stuff. And you don't have to keep your um, your tiles in one place. You could absolutely go and... Oh gosh, come on. Jinga, jinga, jinga. Just these little pieces like this. I mean, I could use them in a build, but I'm probably not going to. I'm going to use the wood that I collect at the time that I'm I'm doing the thing that I do. So there we go. Anyhow, I just I wanted to show that to you real quick uh, before getting started on tonight's building session because I am going to be working on the the bridge itself. Come on, there you go. Anyhow, I I, I like sweeping better than I do this. So then once you're done you just come back over here kind of position so your destroy button is going to be right where the um, cursor is that way all you have to do is just E and click E click and we'll move a little bit E click just make sure that like if you are doing this on a floor of some kind make sure you don't delete your floor I've done that before <laughs> fell straight through it was awesome but <clears throat> that's neither here nor there. Uh, I am going to be playing solo tonight, so I've been playing in private servers quite often, just because it gives me the the solitude that I can use to record and uh, the ability to just kind of be my, by myself, so I can, you know, do this stuff. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab a piece of the big palm. That'll, that'll do. 
Is that palm? I don't think that's palm. I don't know what that is. This is palm, though. I did this yesterday. So I'm going to walk this right over here. Oh, oh, come on. Whoa. And resin the truck. Come on, truck. We okay. <clears throat> what we need to do tonight to finish up our little uh, bridge is we need to make the staircase back down, and then we need to make the staircase at the very end. I don't know if I'm going to get this all done tonight, but it's worth a shot. Whoa. Cutting it close, code. See, I made it. I, I made these little turns so I could get right here on the edge, hold the left key, and this is an extreme perfect turn. Almost perfect. Extreme, almost perfect turn. <laughs> I'm glad that those doors did not mess me up. Turn and. Come on, come on, come on, yes! So, very precise, very much precision. Except for that last little edge, of course. Wait, where did... <coughs> no! Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, let's try that. I'll have to come back and put in the blueprints. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like I got um, a couple of doors here already, so. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I just launch this truck off the end here? Dang it. <laughs> Enough messing around, code. Need to go get to uh, get to building. Get serious. This is a very serious game here. We got, we got work to do. <clears throat> um, one of the first things that I need to do is fix that door right there. Do you see that one? So, uh, but before I do that. We do need one of the last doors. So let's do a rotate turn. Oh, which side is the handle on? So a turn, turn, there we go. No, that is rotate, rotate, there we go. Because I want the, all the handles to be on the right hand side. So uh, just aim right there. Okay, that's not quite where, there you are. Good. I'm gonna move one more. Oh, come here. Come here, you. Right. Okay, look down, look up, and right. It'll, it'll have to do. It'll, it'll do. It'll do. That'll do, kid. That'll do. <coughs> For those of you that just said, oh, you referenced Shrek. That's actually from uh, Babe. And Shrek referenced it from Babe. Babe is with the, uh, the talking pig. Baram you! Baram you! Alright, we need to shut that door. Close door. Move and be. That door is fixed. So now we need, with precision of Spider-Man, we. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one I'm right over here like that. I'm gonna move this one right here, open, and then move this one. Good. Now I'm gonna stand on this one. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand on this one here. Move this one, and if we do a turn, I 
should be able to... Oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh. There. Is it? Yes! Close, move, B. And just in case, move, B. Now, move this one down. B. Okay. Move. We need to go turn, turn, turn. Like that. And we're going to start building the opposite direction. Move, uh, moving it upwards, I guess. So... Um, oh, come on, come on. Okay, that's a that's a good aiming spot. We can do that. I gotta look down first. Look down, then we can look up. Two. <clears throat> Three. It'll it'll get easier as I build. More doors up there. Mordor! The city of Mordor. Population 9 million. Oh, come on. Come on. Get up there. I can't tell if I actually placed that one or if it messed up and moved. Who knows? Good. There we go. Come on. Just does not want to build door to door. It's a door to door salesman builder. Builder, not salesman. Door to door salesman builder. <clears throat> Just build code. Build. There we go. And good. And that's what tonight's video is going to be about. It's just, just building, just hanging out, taking it easy. Because it's a Friday, and we have a long weekend ahead of us. Uh, some of you may be off school today. Some of you might be making up school days because of snow days. Um, some of you are in summertime and it doesn't count anyway. Um, but we have Easter this weekend. So, well, some of us do. But that's what we're going to be celebrating. And, uh, ooh, how am I going to... Come on, knock on the door. Right, let's uh, open that one and let's move this one. B. Yeah, that's still open. Hmm. hmm. This one. There it goes. Okay, so it's kind of like an unlocking system. Um, the door itself was open. I mean, I can tell by moving my mouse over the handle and it says closed door, so that m means its current position is open. Um, but it was locked in place by two other doors. So, in order to get that one to move, you have to open one of the other doors, get it back in place, move the door that you're trying to move and then the door that you just opened will open. And, and, hold on. I don't know if that makes much sense to you guys. Okay, so this door right here was locked in place by this door and this door. Okay, so in order to get this door to move or to open up, I had to click open on this handle and then I had to click open on here. Well, that's fine and dandy, but this one was still locking it in place. So what I did down here 
since this one only has the two connections, I clicked open here and then moved this door. That caused this row, this set, to open. Once it's open, it won't lock the door anymore. It won't lock it in place. So after that, I was able to move this door, which was locking this door in place, and this door became unlocked. So now that it's like a this, I can build to it. And in fact, oh, come on, there we go, move. Let's just do a, oh gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> no, maybe? Oh, mm. no, okay. We'll hold on to it for a second. Uh, where is the handle? Okay, so to turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start like this. Actually, here, let's do this. Because I don't think that will latch on. It might, who knows? Is that latched on? It is. Oh my gosh. That is. That's actually really exciting. Move B. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and open that door. Move B. No, that, that one is still locked in place. Close door. Check. Open door. Open this door. Move B. Move B. Move B. And what about this one? Move B. No. Nope. All right. So I'm gonna have to move this one back out. <clears throat> okay. And this one should be locked in place. So uh, let's go back over here. Let's open this one. Oh, come on. Come on. Move B. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hold up, hold up. Here we go. Move B. There it goes. Open door. So now when I move this one, move B. Unlocks. Is this one open? Yep, this one's currently open. So when I move this door, B. Good. Okay. So let's get back over to this one. I am going to move this down one unit and one unit in. That way it's not intersecting two different doors at one time. So. Oh, that's not going to work because we're not going to be able to step over that. <clears throat> so what about one unit up? Should be able to step a unit up, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. We can step over the top of that one. And then we can close this one down here. Right? Maybe? No, oh, who knows? These things are crazy anyway. Move. B. Let's go ahead and open this door. And I'm going to take one of these doors. Let's take from the bottom. Move. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm gonna come down some and then we'll start building. All right, let's do turn like that. And placed, good. And open. No! <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm walking. <clears throat> it's just a, an extreme, extreme building whenever you're trying to do glitch bridges. <clears throat> it's kind of like getting uh, the Lego pieces that don't quite fit if you don't have them perfectly aligned, you know? 
No, like the little cheap McDonald's Legos. No offense to Lego. I mean, they've, they're a great building system. Just, I'm, I'm saying the, the cheap ones. The ones that don't quite fit. Okay, we need to go return. Now I should be able to do this. Um, one. Move. Two. Should be able to. Oh, come on. Come on. Two. Doesn't look like that one's going to have a third one. So. Hmm. That's three, right? One, two, three on the top, and then I can do three at the bottom. So. place. Um, like that? No, I don't like that at all. <clears throat> Let's push this way up. Whoa. Like that. So if we link there, This might be extreme for doors, but <clears throat> uh, rotate, let's see, turn like that. I want to make sure that the doors that I place down, okay. <clears throat> hmm. It's gonna be a nice, gentle walk down. Let's go uh, turn. One. Move. Two. Move. Three. And I should be able to get the third one in there. Come on, come on. Three. Now that one, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try one more. See if that works. I don't think that's going to. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Hold on, hold on. It's not smooth. It kind of comes out a little bit, but that should work. Wow, extreme builds. <laughs> I don't know that that's going to work. And we have a long ways to go if that's just the one section. <laughs> uh, well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to keep building it. So let's just keep going. Let's see if, uh, see if this next one will just... Properly line up. Eh, I won't do that, will it? Oh, hold on. Hold up. What was that? <clears throat> oh, wait. I didn't... <sighs> Alright. Can we line this one up with the others? No, that's away from the wall. <laughs> and that's because of that handle right there. I guess I really don't need that one there, do I? Hold on. I mean, it was just to line up the other things. Because... Yeah, that's going to be the attachment right there. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I see a pattern forming. Things are happening. 
Okay, so if we go off this same pattern where this door right here, okay, it has doors in the middle right there. But the way this bottom door works is it's the one unit down from the handle. So let's do this. We're going to move this, the one unit down from the handle. How far down? Just like that? Is it just one unit? Hold on, is it one unit? No, that would be this one. So we need to go down one more unit. <clears throat> That's gonna push me off. Whoops. And let's move this one. One more unit down, just like, just like that. There we go. Uh, no. No. No! <clears throat> we want it right on the edge. Oh, oh, what is going on up there? Just like that. Yes, yes, just like that. Okay. So now what? <clears throat> we need another door. I'm confused. There, let's do this. And I need to open up this door like that. Ouch! And then I can do this. Any door I can do, you can do better. <clears throat> Wait, what? No, that's not how the song goes. That'll work. It's still one unit door, so. All right, hold on. Extreme jumps. With code primate. That does not work, because it does not, it does not have a cross section at all. It's just a floating door. Well, dang it. <laughs> Oh, I must be tired. Something's happening. All right. <clears throat> We're at 27 minutes. And I probably should make some more doors. So, I will probably do that for the next episode of uh, This Old Base. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to This Old Base. Today we're going to be doing some renovation on this uh, palm, palm wood bridge. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, I'll see if there's a an easier, better way to pattern this out because that pattern seems off a little bit. Maybe if I were to take this and pull it downward, would that work? Hmm, who knows. Let's go ahead and move this one back out of the way, right down here. And can we reach that one? Yes, move that one back down out of the way. Just like that. And let's go ahead and open this door up. And what I'm gonna want to do is see where that door's at. So that's kind of what I want to do up here. It's like come on. Move this, turn. right there if possible maybe even a little bit closer that way it's not that'll work in fact that that actually that really does work cool whoa whoa whoa, whoa. what what are you doing there we go okay jump up here jump up here there we go and down. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go ahead and move this one. It's about time. It's about time. I'm just, I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. Oh, oh, that one was open, wasn't it? Oops. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't reach it from. Okay. There we go. One more. One more. Just like that. Alright, and I'm going to have to figure out how to close that door. Come on, buddy. There we go. And don't push me off. Whew. Close. Anyhow, that should be a nice, gentle staircase. Um, let's go ahead and lock all these in place, just in case. Move B. Um, move B. 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 And come on, reach, reach. Move B. And last one, move B. Okay. I'll go test it, just in case. Oh, 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 down, oh, come on, down. And down we go, there we go. And open. Woo! I always fear that I'm gonna hit that and it's gonna be stuck. I'm gonna have to figure out which door is not working. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. The entire top half of the doors. <gasps> oh. Okay, wait, which one is it? It's the very end door, isn't it? Oh gosh, okay. Wait, no. It's a second to end door. Because it's not all the way to the top. Okay. Okay, a couple, a couple more minutes. A couple, Just a couple minutes. If you're running late to school, that's okay. Just come back to the video later. Promise. If you're eating breakfast, enjoy. Personally, I love some fr frosted flakes. I think they're amazing. You can agree or to disagree if you want, but that's what I like. I also like Fruity Pebbles and uh, Cocoa Puffs. Well, not Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs are the, like the circle ones. I mean, they're good, but there are no Cocoa Pebbles. Do, 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 do. Come on. There we go. Up, 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 up. Cow World Primate. Okay, that's a really long climb. I mean, that was that was almost 30 seconds. Jeez. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, jump, 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 jump. All right. Um, move B. Move B. Move B. And move B. Don't move it, you're standing on a code. Move B. I almost did it. Whoa, that was like the perfect jump. <laughs> that was crazy. No, 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 don't destroy that door. <sighs> Could you imagine the troubles? <laughs> Nobody knows. <clears throat> there we go, okay, come on. Let's get up there, get up there, get up there. Get up there. It's still just like a third of a door short. That's okay. It's a, it's a small enough gap. You can just walk across it. It's cool. And then we have this little thing right here. Which, by the way, I've messed up my, my little obby thing, but that's so we can make this extreme staircase down. Like that. Well, it'll probably go right to there. So, I mean, that's where we want but we're gonna be able to walk to palms. That's awesome. I'm ready. 
a lot of people are like, Code, why don't you just drive to Palms? I'm like, because it's not quite there yet. That is an amazing view right there. I just, you know, I just want to point out the, uh, how awesome that looks. Okay. And you may not agree with me because a lot of you grew up with 3D, but to me, that is impressive because <clears throat> I grew up in around 1995, 98 computer time frame. And Windows 95 was my first operating system. It was on an Acer Aspire. Anyhow, 3D graphics games and stuff like this weren't really like in the the thing. They weren't popular. They weren't there. Or you had to have really powerful computers, and it was all vector graphics scene and anything. Anyhow, long story short, this right here is something that I had wished for whenever I was a child. I wished there was a place that I could come and create and build and do and make things. And I know that I'm inside Lumber Tycoon 2, but it's still, it's that creative building imagination that just, that's what I love. So for anyone that's ever questioned, why does code play this so much? That's why. It's the imagination part. It's the, it's the pretend part. It's that child in me still getting out going, we want awesome games. That's why I love. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really up to you because it's, it's not a forced thing. I mean, if you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, I love you guys anyway. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Thank you.